of terrorists killed in Hama and Idlib countrysides and in Arsal barren areas in Damascus countryside. Bosh, huge quantities of arms and ammunition seized in Zor and Mahluqa, village in Hama's northern countryside. Marking the anniversary of the October Liberation War, Syria is more determined to combat terrorism. Afternoon. This is News in English from the Syrian Army Division in Damascus. In Hama countryside, the Syrian Air Force eliminated 29 terrorists and destroyed their vehicles in Astan and Skeg villages. Syrian Arab Army units attacked some of the largest dens of the Nusra Front in Zor al Mahruqa village in northern Hama countryside and found camps and prisons set up by a Nusra Front in them. In Idlib countryside, Syrian Arab army also killed 25 terrorists, destroying their weapons and vehicles in Shnan and Talalas. Other army units also killed a number of terrorists and destroyed their vehicles in Arsal barren areas in Damascus countryside. In the same context, in Adra countryside, units of the Syrian Arab army have destroyed two hideouts of the terrorists, killing and wounding a number of them through targeting their gatherings in Daral Balad and Tafas, Yadu Darod, while in Homs countryside, the Syrian Arab army killed dozens of terrorists, destroying their hideouts and a number of vehicles equipped with heavy machine guns in Um Sharshuh, Jazil, and in the vicinity of Jabal al-Shahr. Syrian Arab army units, in cooperation with the Popular Defense Forces, have restored peace and stability to a Dukhaniya district and the surrounding areas after killing scores of ter terrorists. A military source said that the army's engineering units were removing the barricades and explosive devices that were planted by the terrorists in the whole area. Syria marks the 41st anniversary of October Liberation War that was chronicled in the Arab history as a bright spot and became a shining example of glory. The anniversary comes as the Syrian Arab army is further determined to perform the sublime duty of defending the homeland and eradicating terrorism to foil conspiracies hatched against Syria by the West and its tools. The Syrians recall the victories of the Syrian armed forces 40 years ago in the October Liberation War. There are little differences between the current aggression and the circumstances during the October War. Syria nowadays is facing an enemy armed with Western and Israeli-made weapons and an ugly extremist ideology aiming at destroying the Syrian state and punishing its people under false titles like revolution or the so-called Arab Spring, which brings nothing to the region but destruction. The total faith in the ability of the Syrian army to achieve victory and destroy terrorism and Wahhabi Zionist calls is enhanced by the unity of the Syrians who stand firm in the face of challenges and economic sanctions imposed on them in an attempt to undermine their commitment to their homeland. On the occasion of Eid al-Adha and the 41st anniversary of October Liberation War, Chief of Staff Major General Ali Abdullah Ayyub visited an Syrian army unit accompanied by a number of high-ranking officers. Major General Ayyub congratulated the soldiers on the occasion and hailed their efforts and steadfastness, stressing that the army's steadfastness will create once again the victory achieved by the Syrian army against the Zionist entity in the October Liberation War.
In Iraq, the Iraqi forces continued their military operations in order to eliminate the ISIS groups as a special task force has killed the ISIS Mufti of Hamiran Basim, northeast of Baquba and two of his aides, in a qualitative process. Iranian President Hassan Rouhani has said that regional cooperation is the main road to combat terrorism and extremism in the region. In a phone call with his Afghani counterpart, Ashraf Ghani, Rouhani added that relations with other states should be not negatively affected by the Iranian-Afghani relations. Rouhani stressed that the Afghani people's interests should be top priority for both sides. For his part, the Afghani president asserted that the security agreement signed with Washington will not be against Iran's interest. In Brazil, the left wing is achieving a new victory in the elections. Brazil's President Dilma Rousseff has won the first round of presidential elections against her rival Akio Neves. Rousseff won 44% support, while Neves took the second place with 30% of the vote, and now they will face the leftist Rousseff in the runoff on October 26. With this, we come to the end of our news for today. Thank you for watching. For more details about Syria and the region and to view this bulletin again, you can always visit our website in English, www.syriaonline.sy. Stay with us, the latest in economy, after the break.